डोंट यू वरी डोंट यू वरी चाय वेलकम थैंक यू सो मच फॉर कमिंग एंड सबसे पहले द मॉनिटर नाम कैसे सो आई वॉन्टेड टू लाइक नो गेट अप विथ समथिंग विच रिलेट्स टू माई आइडिया ऑफ लाइक नो वॉट आई वॉन्ट टू डू एंड फॉर टू ईयर्स आई शॉर्ट विदाउट लाइक यू नो हैविंग अ कंपनी नेम आई दॉर्ट विद माई इंडिविजुअल नेम एंड देन आई केम अप विद दिस नेम द मोनेटा बिकॉज द मोनेटा इज द रोमन गॉडेस ऑफ मेमरी ओके एंड इट्स लाइक यू नो दैट्स वॉट आई डू लाइक यू नो यू क्रिएट मेमरी यू कैप्चर मेमरी यू क्रिएट अमेजिंग थिंग्स सो आई वॉन्टेड समथिंग टू डू विद लाइक यू नो द मेमरी एंड द गॉडेस ऑफ शी इज ऑल्सो मदर ऑफ म्यूजिस विद द आर्ट एंड साइंस एंड कल्चर एंड टेक्नोलॉजी so the, i thought like you know that's a perfect name to represent what my idea is about yeah so coming to the second question your background like the type of kid you were before and how did you start so uh, as a kid i was like you know uh, i loved maths and science but otherwise as an average student like you know i didn't like to go to school but uh, i did enjoy studying i was always uh, inspired by like you know computers and technology and all that So I wanted to be an engineer. Cutega, sabka cutega. No, I wanted to be an engineer. Like you know, but unlike uh, most of the guys, they don't want to be, and their uh, parents want you to be an engineer. I wanted to be an engineer, and then somehow I uh, ended uh, learning about animation and all that. And in one of the animation seminars, I learned about uh, light painting. It's a type of a photography. So that got me interested in photography. So. it wasn't like you know since uh, childhood i wanted to be a photographer i like you know like shooting uh, taking photos and all that i was just intrigued by technology and then uh, coming to how it started uh, how i started shooting for music festivals and all that there was a festival in uh, meeti bai uh, colosseum and yes. yeah so kunal ganjal was performing and i just got a uh, camera so i went there to meet a friend and uh, the committee members thought i was the official photographer so they let me on stage and like you know they gave me all area access and they let me shoot everything and i enjoyed shooting it like you know the vibe and uh, the emotions and all that uh, girls crying and uh, people dancing and all that so i was like why not like you know give this a shot so uh, i called up a friend who's uh, who was a manager of this band called euphoria and i asked him like you know that do you mind if i come in and shoot uh, once or twice so he was like you know more than happy so i shot euphoria a couple of times and then uh, sunburn had posted on facebook saying that they are looking for photographers i met with them i showed them my work and they liked it so they hired me for uh, swedish house mafia in mumbai which was postponed then and uh, that didn't stop us and uh, they hired me for the david getta gig in goa okay. so that's how i got into shooting with sunboy bombay se belgium like wo kaise hua how did you go from just being another normal photographer to you know shooting big names going international tomorrow land so one of the major things i think like you know that uh, the work speaks for itself so when i started shooting with sunboy uh, the artist and everyone like you know the indian artists they liked my work and i remember the first international artist i shot was shot for was was steve oki so i shot uh, other uh, international dj's but not for them i was shooting for the festival but uh, steve oki had hired me when he came to bombay i think that was 2013 and uh, anish sood he uh, liked my work and he recommended uh, steve oki's manager that like you know you should hire this guy in bombay and from there on like you know uh, the photos went around and like you know but spoke for itself and i was very clear about like you know i was straight forward to people when i wanted something i was just straight forward that like i want this and i'll give this to you uh so you'll get this if you hire me style mag was a a blog back then and they hired me amol uh, is a indian guy he's into uh, shooting content now but back then he just had this blog so he hired me for uh, shooting at tomorrowland and then when i went at tomorrowland uh, the other artists it's like you know the followed shoot like you know, the other artists saw my work and they liked my work so they connected to me and it was very uh, they liked how professional i was 
surprising like you know, even nervous manager had told me this once that uh, people normally just come here and they shoot stories and uh, they drink and they just chill so even though they shoot content but otherwise they are like you know uh, not so professional so i think that's how the word got around that uh, the artist liked my work and they liked how i worked so you know speaking about tomorrowland uh, very few people know uh, that even mai tomorrowland gaya tha i'll show you this wait i have this clip The artist was Falguni Patak. Like it was Gujarati Tomorrowland. So, अच्छा था भाई अच्छा था. So when are you planning to come here and shoot for Gujarati Tomorrowland? Oh, I would love to. I uh, love. I am a Gujarati, and I love Falguni Patak. Falguni, you know, you can contact him. Within Panchmadiya, the Monita is the best. Please, please, Gujarati Tomorrowland. He is coming soon. Okay. So is it something different? Sunburn and Tomorrowland, yeah, same. I love the vibe and everything. The vibes are very much, very much different because uh, the production is much more grandiose, like you know, and uh, the people uh, coming from different countries are much more. Even though Sunburn has like you know so many people coming from different uh, countries, but mainly it's Indian crowd. When you go to Tomorrowland, uh, the artist lineup is so much like you know so many stages. You can go to any of the stage which you like, and like you know, uh, any of the music which you like, and the people over there are like you know, uh, it's just that the unity which you see, like you know, people coming from so many countries, they don't speak your language, but they just happy to meet you. They'll hug you, and they'll like you know, uh, yeah. So tomorrow in that way, like you know, uh, production wise and uh, uh, people coming in that way, it's much more different than sunburn. So there's always this perfect moment or picture where you know you're able to capture it, like the whole and uh, even the people, the vibe, the energy, the whole atmosphere. So you know, pata kaise chalta hai? Some moment aane wala hai? How do you anticipate such moments? I get this question a lot. Like you know, we will message me on Instagram asking like you know how to shoot the way you shoot, and uh, I don't know if people think it's difficult or just. Uh, some like to make it look difficult it's not that difficult it's really easy if you just do your homework right like you know before going to a shoot i know what the lineup is so i'll just go through the artist and i'll go through uh, the tracks like i'll you get to know like you know which tracks will hit the crowd and what kind of crowd will be there i like to uh, reach early to the location i like to like you know scout the location and uh, check out which angles will work for me and uh, maybe talk to the light guys and the production guys that what all production do we have do we have confetti do we have jobs and what kind of fireworks do we have when do you expect to like you know uh, use them and so with the light guys as well like you know i ask them to show me what kind of lights are there and how is he planning to use them even when i'm shooting just for the artist i like to go uh, early for sound checks because at sound checks i don't have anything else to do but just to see like you know uh, what the artist plans to do if he's uh, like you know planning to do a light the light up thing the flashlight thing you know like you know that what at which time you shouldn't be in the crowd and you should be on the stage so it's more about like you know doing your homework and then it's really easy so coming to the next question there, there's this thing we have named it as like creatively crazy moment okay so it's like the hitting po- hitting point in your life i think uh, with photography there were two moments the point where i learned about light painting okay. and the second point was uh, this kunal ganja wala thing so even though uh, back then it might have seemed really uh, minuscule but it did change uh, my life like you know but the way i saw photography for me back, and back then in the industry the music photography wasn't a big deal like you know yeah. there were not uh, many photographers the only guys who i knew uh, were Royson de Souza and not many others because they used to shoot for uh, rolling stones everyone has this one point when they think like just to give up so was there such a point in your life the times when like you know you feel like uh, quitting and all that 
it's not mainly external it's internal and for me it's come when i feel like you know that uh, i'm not doing enough like i'm not like you know uh, doing something new it's if i'm doing the same things which i did last year shooting wise style wise i feel demotivated because it's just like you know that you have to constantly create something differently you cannot be like you know doing the same things and then expect yourself to grow how do you get back mainly about like you know learning and not just like you know textbook learning and learning online it's about uh, meeting other photographers and it can be like you know uh, the photographers who might have just recently started it doesn't have to be uh, a 10 year old or a 20 year old like you know b- photographer who's like you know been in this industry for 20 years but then it's you get your inspiration from people so it can be a guy who just started shooting 6 months back and i love his photography i love his style and uh, i'm just talking to him and like you know learning from him or it can be learning about uh, new kinds of photography sometimes what i do is when i feel low when i feel like you know i'm constantly repeating myself and doing the same kind of work i uh, take a break and i go to mountains and uh, i love shooting wildlife so over there i go and shoot like you know landscape because that's what i love apart from shooting this it's refreshing like you know sometimes you should take a break and learn new things but learn new things all the time uh we know that you have you've been taking lectures as well you know you have given guest lectures and you've been in this industry now for a, for a period of time so what's wrong according to you like what's something going on which is wrong and needs a change in this industry many of the photographers new budding photographers they undervalue themselves and they undervalue their uh, work so there are many artists new artists and uh, like you know renowned artists as well and uh, festival like sanman as well who hires like you know uh, different uh, sets of people every year the content people because they are looking for something new but uh, the new photographers and the video guys they are uh, even though they have the skill they have the talent they think like you know that they are not good enough so they end up uh, undercoating and uh, they get under pressure of like you know uh, that i just need this job i just need this job so i need to do something and once they get it they become over confident that okay now i've got it so big name i'll okay. just like you know uh, come and go and chill and my friends will know that i've shot for so and so so i'll be okay it's all about like you know being professional and being confident so that's one thing which i feel like you know that uh, mainly the new generation needs to and even the old generation that way like you know uh, the senior photographers the uh, professional ones they have to raise the bar like you know not just uh, monetarily but quality wise as well and it comes on my shoulder as well that uh, quality wise i have to bring something new to the table every year so that's something i feel like you know not just the old generation but the new generation like you know new generation but the old generation has to also do i've been under someone and i've seen him doing this so even i'll be doing the same thing are bhai aisa hi hota hai no aisa hi chalta hai they are not ready for change my if i'll talk to someone who is like you know my colleague or someone he'll say ki are bhai aisa hi chal raha hai itna time se wo that's that's what happened with me the first time when i wanted to uh, shoot to morland uh, i asked people around and i was straight up that like you know that uh, i'll shoot for uh, so and so much money and uh, i'll give you so, such content and people were like uh, that like you know you're asking for money to shoot tomorrowland and that to first time and i was like yeah what's wrong and they were like you know that uh, bro people go out and uh, shoot these festivals for free for years and then they like you know get paid and they get hired and you already are asking for money so i was like that's not wrong i'm offering my professional services it's not that i'm going to go there and chill and like you know party if i wanted to do that i'd just buy a ticket and attend a festival so uh, that vibe like you know the senior have to create that thing that like you know even if you are shooting the biggest festival in the world when you're offering your services when you're working professionally you should be get paid professionally so let people say whatever they want to you have to be confident and ask and i was like you know uh, i didn't question myself even once because i knew that i what i'm delivering is worth the money what i'm asking for bhai dam chahiye ye puchne ke liye 
fortunately for me, I uh, I hardly go to any artists or festivals or pitch myself to them. It's the other way around, and that mainly I feel is because of the work, like you know, the kind of work you make, you attract people to your work. You shouldn't be going out and like you know pitching yourself. Even if you do, uh, you should have something different to offer. You cannot be like you know offering the same things which other guys offering, and then expect to be hired. How do you educate yourself in taking good pictures? Like you know, खुद का सा review करना पड़ता है. So my process is basically like you know, once uh, the gig is done, you edit and you send them. I don't review it right away because you're still in that zone of the uh, gig, in that entire energy and all that. So after a few days, I go back to the same photos and I just check it and I see are they worth being a wallpaper on someone's desktop or my desktop? And uh, if I get the answer as no, that like you know they are not, they are okay, they they are not so great. So then th- that's something like you know, uh, then I reflect on uh, what I could have done better, like maybe lighting wise or maybe uh, choosing my equipment wise or maybe communicating to the. Uh, Production guys or the artist, and I constantly ask my uh, friends and family. I ask my sister. I ask my mom. लोग ऐसा बोलेंगे ना कि ठीक था मतलब. हाँ. So mainly my mom says like you know कि अच्छा ही है, अच्छा ही है. But then like you know I ask her rate out of ten, and then she'll be like seven or eight, and I'll be like okay, I need to like do something. So now coming to the third segment, it's a very small segment. ठीक है. जो बताया नहीं गया है, कुछ भी नहीं बताया गया है. भाई सब authentic है. तो it's divided into two parts. ठीक है. The first part is rapid fire. तो आपको राम गोपाल वर्मा की आग की कसम खानी पड़ेगी दैट योर आंसर्स गोना बी रैपिड फायर ठीक है प्लीज कसम खाइए कसम खाता हूं कि मैं राम गोपाल वर्मा की आग की कि मैं राम गोपाल वर्मा की आग की कसम खाता हूं कसम खाता हूं कि मेरे आंसर्स कि मेरे आंसर्स काफी रैपिड काफी रैपिड और काफी फायर होंगे काफी फायर होंगे थैंक यू 1 2 3 मोस्ट ऑकवर्ड थिंग यू हैव कम अक्रॉस पीपल स्लीपिंग विद ट्राइंग टू स्लीप विद मी पीपल ट्राइंग टू स्लीप विद मी ओके ऐसा So, myth about photographers. They have fun all the time. Like you know, it, it's a very fun-loving life. Okay, ठीक. So, one thing you regret the most. Regret the most. Didn't sleep with them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, regret the most. I don't know. Like you know, but I don't regret anything. Oh, ऐसा. Your worst habit. Uh, I get angry really fast. Sorry. Yeah. And uh, best thing about this industry. People are excited. People are happy all the time. Like you know, when you are into music, people are about music and the vibes are really good. And worst thing about this industry? Professionalism. Professionalism. Come. Yeah. Okay. So uh, three things every amateur photographer should do or have with him. Do. Learn. Be confident. And uh, work hard. Ever picked up a girl from an event? Never. Never. Never ever, and never planning to do. Never. ठीक है. And a lie every photographer says the most. A lie every photographer says the most. Yeah. They didn't uh, edit the photo. पूरे <laughs> team. <laughs> okay. EDM concert documentaries or Bollywood? Documentaries. He started with documentary, right? Yeah, I did. I did. Yeah. And uh, the second part is just. चल दिया सो हिल बी गिविंग यू समथिंग यू नीड टू रीड दैट लाउडली एंड यू नीड टू आइडेंटिफाई कि क्या है वो ओके दिस वन अपॉन अ हिल अक्रॉस अ ब्लू ओके अपॉन अ हिल अक्रॉस अ ब्लू लेक जब मेरा दिल टूटा था एक माने अजू पण याद आवे छे केवी ते बदु बदले माजे बाबा ओरडले टेंशन नै ले भाई भगवान ने खबर छे वदु आए डोंटी वरी डोंटी वरी चाय नाइस वन नाइस वन नाइस वन आई आई गॉट इट फ्रॉम द फर्स्ट लाइन इट्स सो व्हाट्स नेक्स्ट व्हाट्स अपकमिंग अपार्ट फ्रॉम लाइक यू नो द वर्क द म्यूजिक फेस्टिवल्स एंड ऑल दैट द सीजन इज स्टार्टिंग बट आई एम आल्सो लुकिंग फॉर लोकल टैलेंट्स बी इट फोटोग्राफर्स सिनेमेटोग्राफर्स editors also animators and uh, educate them like you know uh, train them want to like you know lift that thing up so educate like you know get it to international standards and how are you planning to do it 
get workshops or like you know uh, people have asked me to like you know make videos online and all that but i'm not sure uh, if that's more efficient or like you know connecting to them one on one i feel that's yeah that's better because then answering to them personally i feel like you know, will work more so is there any advice for upcoming photographers that you know who are coming in the new gen you should always be uh, professional and like you know give 100% to it and uh, no matter uh, what like you know don't uh, come up with excuses educate yourself do your homework be uh, confident about yourself like you know about your work and you can be confident only once you know what you're doing create your own style don't copy that's one major thing like you know people just copy they go online they'll go on instagram and pinterest and all that they'll just copy paste the thing so develop something and then be professional and ask for the right price for it that's one of the main things like you know if you want to sustain and that's how i've sustained otherwise you won't be able to sustain and then you'll end up like you know switching lines and uh, then say ke i tried so hard and i couldn't get it okay so <coughs> coming to the end uh, we have something jo hamare chote se budget mein hum log kuch afford kar paaye the saurabh uh, so it's from our side so oh wow that's what we could afford itne mein theek hai no but <laughs> so, whatever the effort counts yeah. sorry i it's fine it's fine it's fine it's fine so uh, thank you so much for coming thank, thank you, you so thank much thank you for inviting yeah thanks to creatively crazy for getting me on board thank you ए रुक जा कार्ड खत्म हो गया क्या फकअप्स गेट यूज टू इट हम लोग भी सीख रहे हैं आप लोग भी सीख लेना यार दिस इज मेक सेंस मेक सेंस आर टीम नीड्स टू लर्न दिस नेक्स्ट टाइम पक्का सब टाइम पे आएंगे इट्स इट्स रियली नाइस कार्ड सब सब बराबर है ना भाई अभी थैंक यू लाइक न्यू यू गाइस आर रियली लाइक यू नो फ्रेंडली एंड you made me feel really comfortable